hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm delilah from the simple way i give you guys cooking videos sometimes i give y'all product reviews and every now and then i try to squeeze in a grocery haul Today I had some help, thank God, and David was with me, and he, you know, helped me out with all of this stuff. So I'm gonna show you all really quickly what I bought here. So let's start with the cheeses. Here I have some H-E-B sharp cheddar cheese, some cheese sticks, and these are good for like um, Elise's lunch or if Yasmin wants to take them for her lunch. I got some string cheese here. Then I have some American sliced cheese, some unsalted butter. Y'all know I'm always cooking with unsalted butter. Then for my other dairy products, we got some sour cream and Chobani Greek yogurt. I have been uh, eating this Greek yogurt for years, so I always buy vanilla flavored. It is so, so freaking good. So we also got some Lunchables here picked up a few of these I noticed that every time I go to HEB lately they never have Lunchables so I don't know if like most parents are buying them all up and packing them in their kids as lunch um, boxes but I just don't understand like why are they always out of Lunchables so we got some Duke's Mayo then for our meat, we have uncured turkey bacon. This is so freaking good, y'all. I like to cook this in my air fryer. And so I have some smoked sausage. We got here some Jimmy Dean all natural pork sausage. These are good for breakfast. Got two packs. Okay, so here we have some smoked turkey breast. And we have some Annie's rich and creamy macaroni and cheese cups the kids love these we got some buttermilk we got minute made orange juice we also have some almond milk so here we got some popcorn we also have our canned green beans we got uh two cans and then i have a can of corn we got some masa right here lately we've been making our own flour shells so i mean flour lately we've been making our own corn shells so that's why we have some masa so i bought these uh, juice boxes for the girls to take for their lunch this is the tropical flavor and these come eight to a box and this is grape so i'm about to try some of this because that grape is looking real good you know so we also have some log cabin pancake syrup. This is the only syrup that I use. Sometimes I'll buy pure maple syrup, but if I don't buy that, then I'll just go with log cabin. I like it because, listen, it's no high fructose corn syrup, okay? That's what's up. We also have some albacore tuna in water. I always get my tuna in water, not oil. I love albacore tuna. Here we have Hunt's ketchup. Elise is always going through our ketchup like it's water. So I have Hunt's and this is no high fructose corn syrup. I try to get products that does not contain high fructose corn syrup. So I just picked up some refried beans. Not that we really need it, but I always like to have some on hand. So we got some sriracha sauce. I've never tried this brand before. Hopefully it's pretty good. I didn't see the regular brand that we get. Here we got some lightly salted H-E-B potato chips. Listen, so far I've learned that most H-E-B uh, products are pretty good so for this to be an heb brand of potato chips it was really good and it tasted just as good as ruffles okay so ruffles is a popular brand but heb this is pretty good i also got some potato chips for the girls for their lunches and of course you know it's for xavier too if he wants to snack throughout the day so here we have some lightly salted tortilla chips for guacamole we are always eating guacamole y'all 
So I did not pick up a lot of meat this time because we have a lot of meat already in the freezer. So I just picked up some tilapia and this is um, by, who is this by? This is by a company called Great Catch. Normally I don't buy tilapia. I just recently started back purchasing tilapia. But for years, I left it alone because I did not hear anything good about tilapia. But um, I read the back of the packet, the packaging, and I was kind of sold on this company because it says tilapia are form raised and processed under best aquaculture practices, BAP an ongoing certification program that takes into account the environment, animal health, food safety, and social responsibility. The ingredients are tilapia, tasteless smoke to retain natural color. So, yeah, I guess their, their uh, tilapia is on the safer side and um, it's safe to eat, you know? I mean, all we can really do is just pray over our food, you know? So I try not to live in fear no more when it comes to eating food, like at the end of the day, we all have to go someday, you know? So nobody's bound to live on the earth forever. You know, all you can do is just ask God to bless your food and be thankful for what you have, you know? Here we have some fresh um, fish fillets. The kids love these, I eat them too. We also got some chicken thighs. I only got two packs. Here I got some, Aunt Jemima's buttermilk pancakes. But to my surprise, Aunt Jemima is not there. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So what do what's going on here? Like what what did I miss? What did I miss, y'all? Like, comment down below and let me know what's up with this. I, I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. So we also have some raisin bran. I love raisin bran. I normally get post. But like I said, I've noticed that the HEB and the cheaper brand of products taste just as good. So Hill Country Fair is another um, company um, whose products are not that bad. So like these raisin brand taste just as good as Post and they are like half the cost of what I would have paid had I bought Post raisin bran. So I bought two boxes of this. I bought some Frosted Flakes here. I got the big giant size Quaker Oats. I like the quick one minute oats. We also have some buttermilk egg waffles, and these are good for girls for breakfast, and this is a 24 family size pack. I also got some paper towels here. You can never, ever run out of paper towels, okay? I got the Hill Country brand. I also got the um, HEB bath tissue this is 30 mega rolls which is equivalent to 120 regular rolls this is two ply you gotta have that two ply tissue don't get no one ply tissue don't be cheap don't get one ply you got to have two ply so on the table we got all of all of our i said all of our <laughs> what is wrong with my language on the table, we have all of our fruits and vegetables. We got some bread, and then we just got some miscellaneous items, you know, like the miscellaneous things, okay? We also have some snacks. So we got the value pack, H-E-B fruit and grain bars. This is a 16 pack, strawberry apple, mixed berry, mm-hmm. And then we got some granola bars. I like to get this um, variety pack. The peanut butter chocolate chip is so freaking bomb. This is at eight bars, and then you get three s'mores, two peanut butter chocolate chip, and three chocolate chip. And then I just went ahead and just got, you know, some of the peanut butter chocolate chip, because, you know, why not, okay? I hide some under my bed. So we also have our bread. I always buy nature's own. That's This is the only type of bread that I buy, you know, since California, same old, same old new state, ain't nothing changed. We got three loaves. Anytime I go to the store, I always get three loaves of bread. It's just something about the number three. Praise God. We also got some H-E-B, another H-E-B brand another H-E-B food product. 
of yellow corn tortilla shells. Now I'm a little nervous about these shells because the last couple of packs that I've had, the shells have been split. Like once you get like midways into the pack, it's like somebody was just having a bad day at work and they figured they would just like mess up everybody else's day. So they took a knife and they cut the tortillas in half and then they took about 10 good ones and they put it on top. I just don't understand. But I decided to show this company a little more grace today and I still bought this brand. But you know what? If I open these and if I get down to the middle and they are sliced, I'm not fooling with y'all no more. Like like you're, you're done, you're fired. I'm not buying this no more if I had a problem. So now this is what David threw in the baskets. Yeah, so he's not here to explain this. So I'm just gonna show it to you and then I'm gonna move on. We got some chilies. We got another bag of chilies, chilies. And um, yeah, one is red chilies. The other is the darker chilies, okay? Then we got some of this one right here. Like I said, he's not here to explain this. So I'm just gonna show it to y'all and I'm just gonna move on to the miscellaneous. So miscellaneous items, hand soap. We need this for our bathrooms. We got the Dawn dish liquid, got to have Dawn. I'm always sticking with Dawn dish liquid. This is a regular here, she lives here. She's here all the time. We love her in the color green. We also got another thing of hand soap. So I don't understand why I bought a big one and then I bought a little one. I don't know, sometimes I just do things like that. And so we also had some snack bags. So I bought these, you know, for Elise to go in her lunch, you know. So we have a big old bag of, a big old pack of uh, onions, which I, I really doubt that we're even gonna eat all of these, but David put that in the basket. I didn't do that, he did it. So we also have some multivitamins. Got to have the multivitamins. I love these chewables for Elise, she loves them. So. so we got some extra super large potatoes. I don't understand why they are so big, but I would imagine these would be great for uh, baked potatoes maybe, I don't know. So I got Elise a toothbrush, miscellaneous. And then, you know, we got some old tooth toothbrushes. So I bought some uh, All Clear Antibacterial Hand Wipes. I like to send, send these with Elise to school and keep these in her lunch bag. Also, Yasmin, she takes some, and these are 20 count. Good, keep the hands clean, kill the germs, all that good stuff. So we got a few packs of these. We got some coffee. I wish y'all could smell this coffee, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Let me see. If I just put the camera up to the coffee, maybe you can smell it. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Can you smell it? No? Mm, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you can't smell it. I don't remember what flavor. Oh, okay, this is the flavor here. Ethiopian mocha. We got a big old three pound bag of apples. These are what, Granny? No, these are not Granny Smith. These are Red Delicious, I think. Cauliflower, green onions, some Roma tomatoes, a green bell pepper, and a red bell pepper. What I'll probably do is just chop this down um, midweek and freeze my bell peppers. I love to do that. We got here some mandarin oranges, some Roma tomatoes, my bad. Grape tomatoes, we got some grape tomatoes in the organics brand. This was totally an accident because I don't really buy organic fruits and vegetables anymore, okay? I used to, but I don't anymore. I just buy regular fruits and vegetables, like, and we just wash it off and we pray over our food. Bam, there you have it. We got some H-E-B romaine lettuce. Um, what's this called? Broccoli. Brain fart. Broccoli. We got some corn. One of them, you know, that, you know, had an accident in transportation. We have two cucumbers, nice, hard cucumbers. Yep. And then we have our avocados. So every time I go to the store, I, I always get 
two little bag baggies of avocados and these are nowhere near ripe but they should be ripe within a, a day or two now they put the ripe sticker on this avocado this avocado is not ripe it's hard as a rock and it's still green i don't know why they do that so here we have some kale and spinach these two always go hand in hand. Whenever I go to the grocery store, if I get spinach, I always get kale. I don't know. They're like they're like a a marriage part, a marriage a married couple or something. I don't know. So here we have some lemons. I don't always get limes, but today we have limes. Blueberries, we have strawberries. I always get strawberries. We got some bananas. Lately, we really haven't been eating that many bananas, but I got some bananas this time. Hopefully, we'll eat them all. And some white grapes. Okay, what else we got over here? I think that's it. I think that's it, y'all. Let me get this. This didn't fail. We don't want to waste nothing. We're not wasting nothing. I almost forgot the eggs. Now, listen, you cannot go to the grocery store and not get eggs. Eggs are so well priced out here. They are not expensive at all. We have six cases of water and these are 32 bottles. H-E-B always has a three for $10 special. So I just picked up some non-food items here, just some cooking tools. I got um, this strainer here and got a small one and a large one. And then I just picked up a skillet. I mean, a frying pan. Yeah, so got a frying pan. I don't know why I really didn't need it because we have a ton of cast iron skillets, but yeah, just bought a little frying pan, you know? And this is by a company called Kitchen and Table. Okay, so we got two more items here. The last two, we have an eight inch tortilla press and we have um, some soap. So let me see. So let's see if I can open this. Okay. So here we have, yeah, we got this. We had one when we were in Carson, but I believe it got thrown out. Let me take this over here. So yeah, we got this tortilla press. We had one in Carson and I believe it got, I don't know. You know, a lot of things got just, a lot of things just went missing when we, you know, moved. Then a lot of items we had to, um, we just ended up giving away. Alrighty y'all, so this completes my grocery haul. So thank y'all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this grocery haul. Be sure to click that like button, hit that notification bell, and press subscribe if you're not subscribed. So I hope to catch you all in my next video. Time takes a toll on everyone, they say. Time is merciless, it won't wait for us to change. Time. I'm stressing out, I can't figure out what to say, oh time, just give us time, time, looking back on pictures and I find it hard to see, you and myself in places where we used to be, oh time, we got older babe, and I wanna stay with you Don't get time for games Now what you wanna do? Tell me now if you will go with me all the way Every night, every day, promise will never change
can't stop running now With you I found my peace somehow Let go of every thought that was holding me back Yeah I'm in love with you in every way That joy you give me every day Makes me forget that I was troubled before Don't know if I'm dreaming I'm slipping away I hear your sweet voice Then I see your face I never knew you could love someone like me You climb my tower And you set me free So I got most of the food put up. I am totally pooped. Pooped, okay. So I ran out of space in my um, freezer. So this is our bread, coffee. Still got to put that up. I'm going to rinse off my grapes. I like to rinse them first and then put them inside of my vegetable uh, storage container. So let's take a look at the fridge. I just got y'all all up in my business. You just all up in my business. So I do need to organize this refrigerator, but this is all of the uh, food that I bought put away. Okay, I put this kale in a Ziploc bag. Y'all, I was totally tripping because this is or this is organic kale, and you know what that means, bugs, right? So I put this in a Ziploc until I can get back to this. So for right now, I just needed to get this food put inside of the refrigerator to get the temperature, you know, right for produce. 
because the food was like sitting out way too long but I'm gonna come back and you know clean the vegetables and stuff like that but this is good enough for right now that's the refrigerator the freezer do not judge me okay don't judge me like listen I am going to come back and organize this freezer because this is not popping at all. I hate side-by-side -side, uh, refriger freezer, refrigerator because you never have enough space in these little bitty freezers. So this is what we got going on right here. Okay, so this is what we got going on here. I will need some light. Hold on, let me get some light. Let me get some light situated right up in here. Okay, so I do plan to um, do like an organization thing with this pantry. This pantry is small, but you know, this is the space that we have for our food in the pantry. So this is what we are looking like. We just, it's stuffed in here. I am gonna come back and organize the pantry, but for right now, this will do. Look, I'm exhausted. I like to keep all of our teas up here. Yes, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go, never forget. Back to what I was saying. I like to keep the teas up here and our seasonings and spices in this uh, over the door pantry organizing rack. This rack was um, able to give us back a lot of space in this pantry. So as you all, as y'all can see, I have y'all, I have probably every seasoning that exists on the planet. Like every seasoning so I bought these little um, I bought these baskets from Dollar Tree in California and they also sell them at Target I believe yeah but I keep all of our seasonings in here and this thing is like stuff with a lot of seasonings y'all keep them all in here and yeah, so that's that. Okay, and then we got some more things right here. These are mostly our um, products that have not been opened, minus this. I need to remember this salt in my uh, steak video. I need to, you know, use it all up, throw it out. So, yeah, that's it. That's it, y'all. I'm hungry. I'm about to go eat.